James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 14th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Do geomagnetic storms affect blood pressure? Solar activity might be doing more than just sparking auroras. A new study in communications medicine suggests it could be nudging your blood pressure as well. Researchers in China analyzed more than half a million blood pressure readings taken over six years in two mid-latitude cities in China. They compared those with measurements of the AP index, a standard measurement of geomagnetic activity. The AP index is much like the KP index. I'm going to explain that to you right now. The result, blood pressure rises and falls in rhythm with magnetic unrest. The AP index is a logarithmic cousin of the KP index and gives a measure of the storminess of Earth's magnetic field. I'm going to give you some equivalents. An AP of zero would equal a KP of zero. A KP of one would equal an AP of four. A KP of two, AP seven. A KP three would equal an AP of 15. A KP four would equal an AP of 27. A KP five would equal an AP of 48. A KP6 would equal an AP of 80. A KP7 would equal an AP of 132. A KP8 would equal an AP of 207. And a KP9 would equal an AP of 400. That should be enough to get us going. Both systolic and diastolic blood pressure showed a distinctive bimodal pattern with peaks in spring and autumn, mirroring the seasonal ups and downs of geomagnetic activity. In years when geomagnetic activity was strong, blood pressure peaked about one month after the AP index peaked. During quieter years, the lag stretched to two months. Now they can't be sure that other environmental factors weren't at play. But we found that blood pressure and geomagnetic activity share distinct seasonal patterns, says one of the paper's co-authors from Shandong University. There seems to be a genuine link between the two, end quote. Importantly, the study found no similar multi-month patterns when looking at air temperature or PM2.5, two well-known influences of blood pressure. This chart shows us the six-year AP index. We talked about how this relates to the KP index. And let's see, a AP of 20, which was one of the highest years on average, would only equal, I guess, a KP index between three and four on average for that year. We can also see by this chart that the male's blood pressure spiked during the higher geomagnetic activity periods, more so than the females. The authors stopped short of saying that geomagnetic activity causes high blood pressure. Their data cannot prove cause and effect. The group is currently exploring how such a link might work. One possible mechanism involves the modulation of ultra-low frequency waves, specifically Schumann resonance waves, which occur within Earth's magnetosphere. The fundamental frequency of Schumann resonance is approximately 7.8 Hz, with harmonics around 14.1, 20.3, 26.4, and 32.5 hertz. These fluctuations may interfere with human brain waves such as the alpha wave 
in the 8 to 12 hertz range, the beta wave in the 12 to 30 hertz range, and the gamma wave in the 30 to 100 hertz range. The brain could then modulate neuro and doctrine activity, for example, by altering the secretion of hormones such as vasopressin, which can gradually influence vascular tone and fluid balance. Such physiological adjustments may take weeks to accumulate, potentially explaining the lag of one to two months or the delay of one to two months between the corresponding data. This right now is just a hypothesis. Further targeted studies are needed to confirm and clarify its potential mechanisms. The study is extensive. I will leave a link to it in the description below if y'all are able to determine or find out any more information than I have in the study, please let us know. We'd be happy to cover it. God bless you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.